Happy Thursday, beautiful souls, wherever you are on this phenomenal planet. It is time for Shift Your Thinking Daily, where we transform our inner experience to a phenomenal outer experience. For now, 10 minutes of our day, we do it together. Okay, before we jump into today's message, let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths. Follow me, breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. All right. Say hi, say hello, drop a comment down below. If you're new to me, welcome. My name's Lisa Porto, also known as Super Agent. <laughs> Active California licensed real estate professional, creator and founder of many cool things, agent trainer, and more importantly, I teach youth real estate literacy. That's ages 11 and up through our nonprofit organization, Real Estate 100 Youth Foundation, which is dearly and wholeheartedly supported by our show, Ready, Set, Real Estate. Let me do that again. Ready, Set, Real Estate. By the way, if you haven't figured it out, this is my favorite hat. Um, I love this hat. I mean, I, I, you know, I throw some boots, some stilettos. I'll dress it up. I love this hat, and I have a couple hats. I have a lot of hats actually, but I'm noticing that I'm wearing this hat a lot. Um, I'm gonna have to get a nice fresh one for the pool party that is coming up in July. Invite only. Uh, that's that's um, an exclusive invite coming from Ready Set Real Estate. Okay, with that being said, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Go ahead and let me know. Hashtag your mood. Me. There are no words to express how I feel. A uh, full manifestation was completed, and. That was the launch of the Ready Set Real Estate live events. That happened today. And for those of you who came out and supported and really uh, learned and you fulfilled a vision I had for you as industry professionals, and it was just, it was an honor to bear witness to how you all exploded with um, thought-provoking questions to uh, really thinking about what you do in this business more than a transaction and to know that at the core, at the core, you are truly passionate about what it is that you are doing. And I mean, it was, it was powerful today. It was powerful today. So uh, maybe I can hashtag my mood as powerful. I've already, I know I posted that earlier today. That's my word. It's a power word. That is my power word. I'm feeling powerful. So, uh, long day, and I'm actually questioning how I'm actually going to get through tomorrow because it's a lot of energy when, I, when you speak and you present because you're giving out energy. And I want to conclude today with getting episode 163 out of shift your thinking from Dean Del Sesto, 200 ways to improve our lives. And we are continuing with episode 163. I actually think it's 164. I'm going to do a quick check real quick. Let's look at uh, shift your thinking. Um, hey, what happened? So 163 is what I'm going to call it. I think maybe one of the videos didn't get organized or added to, added to the list. So I'm going to make sure that gets added because, yeah, 163, there it is. So this last segment needs to be added to shift your thinking. And if you're on YouTube, I added it late. So what's happening is my memory on my phone is maxed. And so I had to reset it. So for those of you who are looking for me on LinkedIn, I'm there, but my videos, I can't upload them. So 
I've got to do what I need to do. I got to do what I need to do. All right. So I'm captioning this episode 163. Make a note. Make a note of it. Oh, we're going to be talking about relationships. We're always discussing relationships because you're in relationships with people, places, things. People, places, things, entities, spirituality, everything. The author says, married couples, please note. So for those of you who are married, take close attention, um, pay close attention. And for those of you who are considering marriage, uh, also pay close attention. For those of you who are no longer interested in dating, maybe also pay close attention because this could be word of wisdom. Again, I'm always saying that you are the messenger, the beacon of light to take back to the uh, to your tribe, the knowledge, the light that you receive. You take that back to them and empower them with it. He says, if you make a note to write a note, your spouse will certainly take note. He says, my marriage would be better if I wrote a love note every now and then duly noted he says speaking of notes you might want to take a note of a rare but significant reality go ahead and type in the comments below take note because this is something as we're exploring this yeah he's talking in the context of marriage i want to leave it there but also think about how you can apply this in your various relationships he says marriages are headed in one of two directions toward intimacy or toward divorce he says if couples are headed down the middle they are likely moving down the difficult path of separation or divorce. Status quo does not work in marriage. Harsh as that may sound, the divorce rate proves I'm at least 51% accurate. Another 25% of marriages are just surviving. Another 15% are doing okay. And only a small percentage are thriving. He said this small percentage is thriving because they know that marriage is a living entity that is kept alive and well by breathing new life into it every day. He says they also know that letting the relationship go and thinking it will somehow stay together without putting forth the effort is not only ridiculous, it's the beginning of the end. He says, Call me ignorant, but I believe all relationships are held together by small gestures of love. Press 1 if you agree. If all relationships are held together by, by a small gesture of love, for me, yes. Yes. Love. I love love. Love, 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 love. <laughs> he says, kindness and fun. Not the occasional big gesture. Small doses of the love, the kindness, and the fun. And it's funny, when you're operating from that place, you want to be kind to that other person. You want to have fun with that other person. It's just natural when you're dealing with the energy of love. He says, I'm also convinced that if every married couple left on occasional, an occasional note sharing a little something special about the other, it would make a small dent in the national divorce rate. It can be a thank you, encouragement, apology, a poem, whatever. It is a symbol of commitment to value each other. Type in the comments below, value. And for whatever reason, notes have an amazing ability to always come at the perfect time, no matter what time it is. So with that being said, I invite you, make sure you go ahead and take the time. Make a note. All right. Love you, love you, love you. Have a powerful and productive day. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue Shift Your Thinking.